Okay guys, it's ZZIR Ranger here with SLB Daily News, episode 6, yeah. And, uh, sorry I've been kind of inactive lately. I have finals coming up, so I've been studying and whatnot. But, um, first off, to start us off, there is a MSR vs. L11A1, whatever that gun's called, game going on. There's going to be an all-star game. And it will be live streamed by SLB, which means you just click on the link and you can watch it as they do it. Maybe a little laggy, but it's still good to watch and it's good to have. So that'll be coming up, and we'll get you. We'll keep you posted on that. Next, Arrow. Arrow is, I think, number six, and they are a well deserved. They've been a team that has been deserving to be on an episode because of how good they've been doing. And the game here that you're watching is Arrow vs. Vokes, and it's a really good game. They uh, get really good clips. That's one thing I like. And the editing is really good as well. So, uh, you should probably go subscribe to Arrow Sniping because they, they, they haven't really gotten a lot of recognition, and they used to be a one of the best Modern Warfare 2 teams. Much I don't think they were number one at the time, but they were definitely one of the most respected, and now they're just coming back on Modern Warfare 3 like most teams have been doing, and they're coming back strong just like others. Alright, next is FDHQ vs. Skies. Alright, FDHQ is uh, made up of Strides, Crusader, Ripper, Yoshi, a couple other people. And they were all ex Modern Warfare 2 single ranked people. Uh, you know, Crusader is this Crusader. He was one of the best at his prime. Uh, Strides of the HQ. Strides Effect. He was in effect when they were number one. You know, Yoshi of the HQ. He's always been a top marathon sniper. And um, actually, what I wanted to talk about was uh, Yoshi of the HQ because he is. Um, one of the best when it comes to KD and points, and he uses hardline. He is not a quick draw pro person. He uh, he runs marathon in both games. So, um, and this game is really good. The editing's really good, thanks to uh, RM Megatron, who is also back. He used to be a very well known editor. Well, not very well known, but in the competitive sniping community. He has got a pretty decent reputation for editing. Alright, next. Swag. Swag has been a team that, from the start, has been one of the best. And that's probably why they have been well-deserving of their new accomplishment, I guess, to be V-City's NA team. Um, Swag has been number one, number two, back and forth for a while now, and... They are really good. This is their highlight reel, so this is just a, a um, just all their clan matches put together, and you know the best clips just put all in one. So yeah, it's gonna be a really good gameplay, but it's not all from one clan match, and it's not, it's all edited out, and it looks really nice. So I thought I'd use that instead of a regular clan match, and um, V City. So V-City is an EU clan that has been one of the most respected for a while, led by V-City KM, or Nomi. And Nomi is a Machinima EU director, and they decided to let Swag be their um, NA team. And they used to have an NA team, they went, you know, top five really fast, but V-City didn't really want an NA team for a while because of unloyal players and, uh, I guess, reasons that Nomi had. So, the highlight reel is really nice. I hope you enjoyed it. And this has been SLB Daily News. Um, it was EZIR Rangers or Ranger. And uh, Relapse should be making a Episode 7. This was Episode 6. The MSR L11A1, whatever that gun's called, tournament. Uh, all-star game is coming up and um, we are still trialing the new commentator to see what people are saying oh and last IG I know I talk about IG in every video but you know they they accomplish a lot 
IG beat Anxiety recently on Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 2, they beat Zinc. And uh, this is what I noticed. I noticed that Monster, a.k.a. Instinct Devil, way better than he said what, Marathon. No question about it. He said what sucks. Uh, what else did I notice? Animal IG is way better than Sky's Gilva with Slide of Hand. There is no competition. And last but not least, after hearing Crush's voice so much, I realize that Krizik has a more appealing voice than Crush. Yes, I know, very hard to believe, but it is true. So, this has been SLB Daily News with Episode 6. Is there Ranger here? Uh, look forward to Relats' video. Peace.